Hello everyone, welcome to Python application programming lecture series. In this lecture video, we are going to discuss about values and types, constants, variables, variable name and keywords and statements. Now we will see values and types in Python coding. After understanding some important concept about programming and programming languages we will now move on to learn python as a programming language with its syntax and constructs a value is one of the basic things a program works with it may be like to 10.5 allo etc each value in python as a type the type of 2, 2 is the integer, type of 10.5 is the float, floating point number and allo is the string. So in this particular case 2 is the integer, 10.5 is the floating point and allo is the string. The types of the value can be checked by using type function as shown below. The type allo, the allo is the string and just you type 2, the 2 is the integer. Type 10.5, the class is float. Type 15, so within a parenthesis and within a double quote, we return 15, the class is string. In above 4 example, one can make out various types of string integer and float so here string is allo and 15 and integer is 2 and float is 10.5 observe that fourth example and this is the fourth example it clearly indicates that whatever enclosed within a double quote is a string Let's try this in ideally shell. Just your type. Hello. Enter. So hello is the string. Next is type. enter the 2 is the integer class is the integer type 10.5 enter 10.5 is the float the fourth one is type fifteen. Enter. The 15 is the string within a double quote. So we return 15. The Python interrupter is identified as a string. Fixed values such as a number, letter, and integer are called a constant because their value does not change. Numeric constant or as you expect string constant use single quotes or a double quote for example print 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 is the integer value interrupter prints the 1 2 3 so next example is print 98.3 so interrupter is print the 98.6 so 98.6 is the float point so if you want to print a string value, we have to represent in terms of single quote or double quote. So here in third example, we have to print the string. The string is allo word. Within a single quote, 
we return the string values so python interrupter interrupter is print the hello word what exactly variables in python a variable is a named and literal which helps to store a value in the program variables may take the value that can be modified whenever required in the program note that in python a variable need not be declared with a specific type before its usage whenever we want a variable just use it the type of it will be decided by the value assigned to it a value can be assigned to a variable using a assignment operator equals equal is the assignment operator let consider one example x is equal to 10 so 10 is the integer we assign to x then print x value so x value x x is the 10 so python interpreter is print the value of the x so output is 10 so now we have to identify the class so type just you type type x so x it's equal to 10 so 10 is the integer integer we assign to x value so python interpreter it gives x is the integer the type of x is the integer let consider one more example y is equal to i i is assigned to y then you print y so interpreter prints the i value the output is i type y the y is the i i is assigned to y and i is the string the type of y is string so within a double quote we return i and i is assigned to y and y is the string it is observed from above examples that the value assigned to a variable is determines the type of the variable in first example 10 we assign to x and x type is integer so 10 is the integer and in second example i is assigned to y and y is the string a variable is in named place in the memory where a programmer can store the data and later it retrieves the data using a variable name programmer get to choose the names of a of the variables you can change the contents of a variable in a later statement for example x is equal to 12.2 12.2 we assign to x x is the variable and again y it's equal to 14 14 is the integer value we assign to y variable so now x value it's equal to 12.2 and y it's equal to 14 and again we assign 100 100 to x value so now interrupter python interrupter is discard the previous assigned value and in this particular case previous assigned value is 12.2 12.2 is is the previous value is discarded and newly assigned value is 100 so now x value it's equal to 100 100 is the integer value and y value we return as it is so y y value y assigned value is 14 now we will see how to declare the variables it is a good programming practice to name the variable such that its name indicates its purpose in the program there are certain rules to be followed while naming a variable the variable name must not be a keyword or reserved word they can contain alphabets lower case and upper case 
and numbers but should not start with the numbers it may contain a special character character underscore which is usually used to combine the variables with two words like my underscore salary or student underscore name etc no other special characters like at dollar etc are not allowed variable names can start with the underscore character but we generally avoid it as python is a case sensitive variable name sum is different from capital letter sum so python interpreter is identify the capital letter sum as a different variable and different variable of string and small letter sum is the different so in english language this capital letter sum and small letter sum is same is python in python coding or python language capital letter and small letters are different so python is the case sensitive let's consider some specific example 3a it's equal to 5 5 is assigned to variable 3a python interpreter is gives the syntax error the syntax error is is invalid syntax because starting with a number so here variable is 3a the variable name should not be start with the number let consider another example a dollar it's equal to 10 10 assigned to a dollar so interpreter is gives the syntax error the error is invalid syntax because variable name it's contain the character the character is dollar other than underscore we can't use any other special character let consider one more example if it's equal to 15 15 is assigned to if the python interpreter it gives the syntax error error is invalid syntax because if is a keyword so we can't use keyword as a variable let's try this in ideally shell 3a it's equal to 5 enter so python interpreter is gives a syntax error error is invalid because variable is consists of number so variable we start with the number let consider one more example a dollar it's equal to 10 so 10 assigned to a dollar enter so it gives the syntax error because variable is consists of variable a special character let consider one more example if it's equal to 15 so 15 is assigned to if enter so we get the syntax error because if is the keyword after discussing with variable now we will move on to statements a statement is a small unit of code that can be executed by the python interpreter it indicates some action to be carried out in fact a program is a sequence of such statements two kind of statements are print being an execution expression statement and assignment statement following are the examples of statement so let consider one specific example print allow so python interpreter is print the allow because we assign the printing statement here printing statement is print let consider one more example x is equal to 5 5 is assigned to x so here the 5 we assign to x is the assignment statement then print x so x value is 5 the python interpreter is print the 5 so here the print x is the printing statement and x is equal to 5 is the assignment statement
we normally we have two type of statement the first one is printing statement and second is assignment statement so x is equal to 5 is comes under assignment statement and print allow is the printing statement let's consider one more example x is equal to 2 2 is assigned to x the statement is assignment statement and then x is equal to x plus 2 a statement is assignment plus assignment with expression then we print the x value the statement is print statement so here in this example variables are x x and operators are plus this is the operators constants are 2 constant values are 2 and in second statement 2 is the constant value and reserve word is print so in this particular example reserve word is print constants are 2 operator is adding and variables are x and x the first statement is the assignment statement and second declaration is assignment with the expression and third one is print statement let consider one more specific assignment statement so we assign a value to a variable using a assignment statement equal an assignment statement it consists of an expression on the right hand side and a variable to store the result so x is equal to 3.9 into x into within a bracket we return 1 minus x so 3.9 into x into 1 minus x we assign to x a variable is a memory location used to store the value is 0.6 the variable is x the x value is 0.6 so assignment statement is x is equal to 3.9 into x into 1 minus x but variable is 0.6 so here x is equal to 0.6 and here x is equal to 0.6 1 minus x is equal to 0.4 and here x is equal to 0.6 into 3.9 so x is equal to 3.9 into 0.6 into 0.4 and resulting value is 0.936 the right side is an expression once the expression is evaluated the result is placed in the assi assigned to x the 0 0.936 is stored in x the previous value of the x is 0.6 and this is the location memory location after calculating the x value is 0.936 a variable is a memory location used to store a values. The value stored in a variable can be updated by replacing the old value 0.6 with a new value 0.93. So this is the assignment statement x is equal to 3.9 into x into 1 minus x and previous x value is 0.6. After execution this so we get x is equal to 0.93. So previous value 0.6 is discarded and new value 0.93 is updated the right side is on the expression once the expression is evaluated the result is placed in or assigned to the variable on the left side the variable is x the updated value of the x is 0.93 these are some references Thank you.